Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In our previous sessions, we have completed the theory part which is required for our UART protocol and we have also designed our UART interface using Verilog. Now let us verify our UART interface using System Verilog. First of all, let us try to understand how system verilog test bench architecture is going to look like and what is the role of each and every component in the verification let us try to understand that before that first of all let us see what is the design and how that particular design is going to look like if you haven't watched the design video yet i recommend you to please watch the design how to design that particular uart uh, which we have done uh, so that it will be more clear for you this is my design how it is going to look like so this is my top module and this top module is going to have inputs as reset and uh, data underscore in and i'm going to have write enable signal and uh, clock signal and uh, ready underscore clear signal as my inputs and outputs I am going to have ready signal and uh, I am going to have busy signal and uh, data out signal. So these are my inputs and outputs of my your top module and inside this I am going to have different modules like baud rate generator BG and I am going to have UART sender US and UART receiver UR. So these are the modules which i am going to have inside and this particular design we have already discussed previously in our previous sessions uh, if you haven't watched that i recommend you to please watch that so this bg is connected with our clock write enable and um, tx underscore clock is my output tx underscore clock underscore enable is my output and uh, i am going to have one more output as rx underscore clock underscore enable so this tx underscore clock underscore enable is given to this uart sender and this rx underscore clock underscore enable is given to his uart receiver and uart sender is also going to have write enable signal and uh, data in so these are the signals i am going to have and the output which i am getting from this uart sender is given to this uart receiver and uart receiver output will be given to this data underscore out and for the UART sender we are going to provide a serial data and output we are going to and for the UART sender we are going to provide a parallel data and the output we are going to get a serial data and the serial data will be again parallelized by this UART receiver and it is going to send it to our data underscore out so this is my top model how it is going to look like now I need to develop a system wedlock test bench for this design now let us try to understand how to, how we are going to develop our test bench. Now first of all let us see what are all the components which we are going to have in our system verilog test bench. So the very first component which we are going to have is driver. Our next component which we are going to have is monitor. And next we are going to have is something known as scoreboard. And reference model so these are the major components which we are going to have driver monitor scoreboard and reference model let us once briefly try to understand what is this components and what is the significance of each and every component now first of all in our sv test bench whatever the data which we want to send to our top model we are not going to send pin by pin first of all we are going to randomize the data now what are all the data which we want to send it to our design the data which we want to send to our design is data in and this is a randomized data and this is a random data okay and one more thing one more signal what is right enable this is also a random data which we, we we need to send it to our design by the test bench and what else we have is our ready underscore clear this is not a random data this is controlled by our driver and uh, that's it and these are my outputs which i'm going to get from my design only i need to randomize my data in and write enable okay now this randomization uh, is not going to perform signal by signal first of all we are going to have few more extra files one is 
transaction file and another is generator file so i have two files one is transaction file and another is generator file now this transaction file is going is also a class this is also a class everything is a class in our system well, driver monitor scoreboard reference model transaction generator these and all are our classes now this transaction class is also a class transaction is also a class which is going to have the properties data in and write enable which are declared with our rand keyword so using our rand keyword we are going to declare this two properties data in and write enable now this entire class is going to be sent to our generator now the very first component which we are going to have is our generator so above this generator also we have some components i will show you later so this generator is a class which is going to have the instance of this transaction class so the instance of this transaction class will be created inside our generator now using the concept of mailbox we are going to send the transaction object we are going to send this entire object not one by one not we are not going to send data in write enable one by one property we are not going to send we are going to send this entire object which is going to have this two properties to our driver to our driver via the mailbox this is our mailbox using this mailbox we are going to send this particular object to our driver now after driver receiving this particular entire transaction object it is going to open up this object and it is going to send this signals pin by pin to our design to our uart underscore top this is our design so after driver receiving this particular entire transaction object it is going to send it pin by pin which is connected to our uart via the interface so using the interface our driver is going to send it to the design pin by pin so the duty of your driver is to convert the transaction level object into pin level object okay now what is the role of uh, one more thing is our monitor so for the monitor we may get or we not get the transaction object according to the system uh, according to the test bench uh, developers idea you may get the data or you might not get the data from the generator okay so this connection is optional now what is the role of this monitor is the monitor is going to continuously monitor the design output so whatever the output which we are going to have that is nothing but our data out the role of this monitor is to monitor this data out and we have one more signal is uh, nothing but our uh, busy signal and ready signal so we have busy signal and ready signal so the role of this monitor is to monitor this signals uh, pin by pin so it is going to connect with the with the design using the interface and the monitor is going to sample them now and the monitor have another duty also the duty of the other the another duty of this monitor is to monitor whatever the signals the driver is driving to the design whatever the signals the driver it is driving to the design it is going to monitor that so basically monitor has two roles here one role is to monitor the design output and another role is monitor whatever the driver is driving to the design so monitor here has two roles now we have one more component which is known as reference model now reference model is going to have the input from the monitor like this so what is this reference model means this reference model is nothing but it is a mirror image or it's exactly working as your design so how your design is going to work so same we are going to take a reference and we are going to implement that so reference model is basically an replica of your design so how you are go how your design is going to work if you are going to provide some set of inputs and if you are going to get some set of outputs right? so same like that your reference model is going to work okay now so the reference model needs the inputs which are given to our design so that particular inputs are taken from the driver and it is given to monitor and monitor is going to provide that set of inputs to our reference model and whatever the output which we are getting from the design are also given to the monitor okay now 
after we have provided some set of inputs to the reference model that was driven to our design our reference model is also going to provide some set of outputs uh, for the set of inputs you have provided okay and this inputs are given to the scoreboard and another inputs are given from our monitor now these are not these signals are nothing but which we are getting from our design so basically for the scoreboard we are giving the output which we are getting from the reference model and we are also giving the output which we are getting from the design basically for comparison whether this reference model and design are working closely or whether this behavior is different or not this particular comparison logic is going to be checked in the scoreboard so this is how we are going to develop our test bench and this is how each and every component are going to work and this entire structure is going to be present inside our environment and this environment has one more top model which is known as test class and this entire test bench and the design are going to be connected inside our top model so this is my top model this is my test bench and this is my design and this two are connected inside my top model so this is written inside your sv and this test and design are connected via the interface so this is how we are going to develop our system well log test bench and from our next video we are going to start with the development of interface transaction and generator and so on yes so that's all about this particular video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vlsi thank you for watching this video